Okay, back again. Waving. Okay, it's a bit behind, but it's working again. I, turned, I shut down OBS and started it back up. It was probably out of whack because uh, I crashed it. <clears throat> Some Sometimes, I'll, you know, I crash it. Wait, make sure it's shut back down. It finished crashing. Open it back up, and sometimes things are out of whack until you maybe close it and open it again. <clears throat> so Cam 1's working again, and Cam 2, yeah, they're both working, but it takes a bit for my hand to come up in the waving. But I went ahead and went in the back into the settings and changed uh, video to bicubic sharpen scaling 16 samples. There's another one that's 32-bit and then the one I had it on, which <clears throat> it actually says that it could be blurry under certain circumstances, so I'm not going to use that. You know, oh, it says it's fastest at uh, the downscaling. But uh, I'm not doing any gallon scaling. Everything's all 1080p. But uh, um, 1080p for the uh, streaming. Uh, 1980, uh, 1920 by 1080. That's 1080p. <clears throat> and then also for the recording. And I changed in the previous, just a while ago, I changed the previous video. I changed it to FLV. I was recording in... Uh, mp4 but i'm concerned that well for one thing it use up too much resources while well, at the a while ago i was noticed it was 37 to 40 percent cpu usage which could cause all kinds of trouble you know when you start wearing out the machine let's cancel this and I'm on the desktop uh so yeah now i've got flvs again and the other thing is i'm worried about is sometimes you know something kills a recording or the app might crash uh, it only crashes when i hit stream right now but it has crashed you know or if the even the power went out or something you know while i'm in the middle of my stream flvs will still be playable and still work on youtube because i've had it happen before but mp4s it was warned in the settings um you can't show that you can't change the settings during recording but i've i've showed it recent videos so anyway in the settings in the video settings uh where you select, uh, that's right, yeah, it's in here. When you select the recording format, you can only do that while you're not recording. If you just, if you're using the standard OBS encoder, then uh, you, you got two, I got two choices in my system for door 29, either the standard or FFmpeg, because I have FM, FFmpeg installed. Uh, but FFmpeg only makes MP4 files, MPEG files. So, um, and I actually think they look a little better, though. It looks like they actually visibly looked a little better. But uh, anyway, I'm more worried about absolutely losing a video, you know, than taking it. Because I have lost videos before, or, and sometimes, sometimes you can fix them with an editor, but it takes forever. Sometimes you can't fix them at all. But... Um, you can, uh, with the standard encoder, you can pick FLV and WebM and a couple, two or three, about four others or five uh, different formats. But this is the uh, most common one. Uh, and also, well, I haven't tried, you know, all of them, but uh, yeah, there's one, MKV, I think, is one of them, which is, I think, really a variant of MP4. So I think it would work the system. This FLV is the default, and I think it, it is because it works the best overall. Uh, it uses less system resources and gives a good quality video. Uh, I was surprised, like I said, to see that it actually looked a little better. I don't know if you could see that. Let's see. Like this is the one where, I, well, I'll just go into this one because it's an MP4. That's the one where I noticed it the first time. Uh, when I had switched, I didn't even realize what I was doing. I just selected FFmpeg, thinking <laughs> in my head, I was tired like I am now. I was thinking in my head that you could pick different outputs, you know, like I could do FFmpeg and then output to an FLV, but I don't think FFmpeg will even do that. That's why it's called FFmpeg, I think. So <laughs> let me look at this video and see if there's a. Oh, I may not have a camera shot of me in it. We'll the see. other day, I kept hearing go. like a little noise and it sounded like the compressor kicking in. You could actually hear it and it went. That usually means sometimes if you just have too much compression, it'll be cutting. If you have too much compression, it'll be cutting off the tail end of the words or the sounds. But okay, so um, 
Here's one that's an FFmpeg. Let's see if this one that I keep saying looked better than okay, the one. Okay, back again. No, did did not work. Um, here's my screenshots. Last screenshot, and I went ahead and just went to the camera just to be different and uh, start streaming. And uh, yeah, now let's go back to an earlier video. That's FLV now what there's just like little, little color pixels that you can see sometimes in the videos uh, recent actually i didn't it used to, i thought they always used to look about like this and then recently i've been seeing that and i was like why is it doing that what's wrong and i don't know why but let's go to this one here it'll probably have a shot of me somewhere you know, maybe close to the beginning and uh, making a video but here i am all right just can't seem to give up tonight. Okay, going back again. Well, we're going to try it a little more. Just can't seem to give up tonight. Um, yeah, it's still away. Now, to me, that one seems like I can see the little colors changes here and there. And, and the outline of me looks fuzzy. That line of everything, like the chair, me looks more looks a little fuzzy. This uh, the stuff over here looks fuzzy. I think there's actually a visible difference. In it. And it's just like when you just look at it and don't really look too deep into it, just kind of look at the whole thing as a whole. It seems that I can see color, you know, Sometimes I can actually see tiny little dots right now. I can't, and maybe because my eyes are tired, but there's, it seems that my black shirt is tinted with a little bunches of colors, lots of colors. Uh, and that's Take where I, I was going to quit what at about 1030. But here I am. Teen collections and OBS. I think I went on in that video for quite a while without showing uh, myself again. So uh, anyway... I don't know, maybe that'll be a good comparison. I don't know how well that'll translate through re-recording it again, you know, over in the desktop video. But uh, that's why I kind of, when I was, once I saw that this one here looked pretty good, I left it on MP4. That and I forgot all day today because I had intended to, well, go back to FLV and see what it looked like. Um, <clears throat> did I show one of these yet? Let's see. I don't remember. Let's compare to this one. Okay, back again. Waving. Okay, it's a bit behind, but it's working again. I turned, I shut down OBS and started it back up. It was probably out of whack because uh, I crashed it. <clears throat> Some sometimes I'll, you know I crash it. Wait, make sure it's shut back. Down, it finished crashing. Open it back up, and sometimes things are out of whack until you maybe close it and open it again. <clears throat> so Cam One's working again, and Cam. So, uh. Of course, I did just change the setting, though. Uh, those could have been on that uh, setting that wasn't as good. I don't, I don't think it's as good. <laughs> I don't remember when I changed it. The one that I just got through showing that I changed. And this is on the, be the one that I think is a better quality. The other one, there's a, this is a 16-bit. Let's look at it again. Uh, anyway, that one looks better than one of the earlier ones to me. That's what I'm saying that about the settings i think it actually did look better yeah by cubic sharpened scaling and actually that's for the downscaler and i'm not downscaling so it shouldn't matter but just in case i don't completely understand that i'd rather have it on the there's another one that is i guess a step up it's 32 bit but it's what what I, the whole reason i got into this because i saw a video explaining which one this guy thought worked better is uh worked better for a machine that's not a real powerful machine and, I, and he never did say exactly what he was running but i'm figuring he was probably he was running he was recording games for twitch so i figure if he can play games and run obs he says his machine's oh you know a terrible processor and all this stuff but i don't even think he ever said how many cores he had but i have a quad core i5 intel i5 and four gig of ram now that's what i would consider a medium range machine if you look at they're still selling them, you know, and they're still charging too much money for them. <clears throat> so plenty of people have them. Uh, 
everybody doesn't have an eight core, you know, uh, and I'd love to have one. I'm building one for my mom, but I, I still don't have one for myself. Actually, I, I've, I had my sight set on an eight core AMD. Uh, now they've got the new one, the Raisins, Risins, uh, that are supposed to be better. But, and they're not super expensive, but I've actually decided that I think a server would be work cir run circles around even one of those. Uh, and they're a lot cheaper, so I'm kind of got my heart, heart set on a server now with like two eight cores is what I would like, and uh, two eight core. Well, I mean two six cores. They don't really. If you do find a server with eight core processor, it'd be in the thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars. But you can get the older ones that would have two. You can get two six cores, so that gives you twelve cores. And then plus the multi-threading on top of that, and then uh, <clears throat> and you know. I mean, I've got four gig of RAM, so if I had it 16 or 24 gig of RAM, that'd be great for me, and then maybe one day I even get more, you know. <clears throat> but um, anyway, I had it on the, there's one below that, and uh, hit cancel and get out of that. I guess the thing to do now, if I'm going to really uh, make any sense out of what I'm trying to say here, is uh, show it. So yeah, I did screenshots. So when I change it to bicubic, and uh, I guess I made uh, bilinear, it says fastest but blurry if scaling. So uh, that then you can read that as to, okay, so it is being used either way, you know. Yeah, that might make s sharpen scaling. That says sharpen scaling. And then the other one was something something thirty two bit, a bit of a different name. So, uh, speaking of sharp, it looks blurry. Those, why are those screenshots looking blurry all of a sudden? Is it my eyes? So anyway, that's the default. So uh, it was probably, and it looks like uh, good, better, and best. You know, is what it looks like. Uh, so that would be good, I suppose, or okay. It says warns you blurry if scaling. So, and what this down? This is a downscale filter. So, uh, and this is the. Uh, Base canvas, 1920 by 14, and see output scaled resolution. Well, I'm not scaling it. I'm, I made it the same. That's what I'm trying to say here. So, um, and then I changed back to FLV in the standard encoder for recording, not for streaming, for recording, because I was doing, uh, I don't know if I got a screenshot of that. Why isn't it moving? I think it was delaying. I guess I had made a bunch of screenshots of that same station there, same spot somehow. Yeah, that's what it was. So uh, I never did get a screenshot of it. I guess I never got a screenshot of it being uh, different, but it had started out, I had it on uh, FFmpeg. And... Uh, Okay, so I don't know. Uh, again, sometimes I, uh, depending on what I'm trying to take a screenshot of, see some of them are named are named workspace because I do them with uh, shutter screenshot because I can do a delay and I have time to go and four seconds to go get into a menu, you know, and do something like that. And but this stupid thing, sometimes it goes right through and it catches them that that the viewer, and sometimes it skips them and goes on to the next one. And I don't know why it does that. One time it works and another time it doesn't. But I can't use my favorite one, Gwenview, because it uses too many resources and takes too long to get open and go at work now. And I don't know why it does that. But, uh, oh, yeah, updates. I keep saying I want to check for up, check my updates. I don't want to check for, I can't just run DNF update because then I'll be hung up and I'm so tired I want to shut down the computer. I'm trying to think of how I could know. There is a command to see if the system's up to date without running the updates, but I can't remember it. And uh, <clears throat> let's see. Open even opening uh, Dragora would take forever. I could go in there and see. But I got to thinking in my server, my new server, it always pops up the little Dragora icon saying updates are, are ready. <coughs> you can turn that off and tell it not to do that <coughs> and I may have done that because I think 
Yeah, I remember on a, a system, I don't remember which one, maybe it was this one, it was causing conflicts with the automatic updater. It was hanging, oh, it was hanging up Dragora, and I couldn't open it up to install programs. So I might have been this system, so that may be why I don't see that. Uh, it was just a, I think it was a bug or something that may be fixed now. And then Apper, I could look in there, but it doesn't work very good anymore. It used to be the default. App package manager, but it's not uh, just it works, but not real well. Everything doesn't display right. So in Fedora 28, so it worked great, and I think it worked fine in Fedora 23. I put it on there because I hated uh, Dragora so much. It's just terrible. It's so hard to use and so slow. And that I'm not going to go in there right now. I just need to write myself a note, I guess. Well, I've got a note on video. Maybe I'll see it next time. I always go back in, especially these videos I've been making lately. I've been reviewing them a lot. Well, I've been reviewing them to try to see what I did and what worked and what didn't to know what to do next. So maybe tomorrow I'll see what it is I need to do. So um, there we go. I'm going to quit fiddling around here and uh, go. And... Uh, I don't know. Well, I just really want to fix OBS. That's the thing. So, um, but it may not be something I can fix. It may be uh, a bug that I'm going to have to wait for the developers to fix, either in Fedora or OBS. So I guess I'll go. And this time I mean it. All right, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.